Mastering past perfect passive voice. Spotting past participles of regular verbs. Hello, English language learners. Today we're going to focus on a crucial building block of the English language, the past perfect passive voice. Particularly, we'll delve into how to identify past participles of regular verbs, which are absolutely essential when it comes to forming the past perfect passive voice. Get ready to make your English even better. Before we move on to the past perfect passive voice, it's crucial to understand what a past participle is. In English, past participles of regular verbs are typically formed by adding ed to the base form of the verb. These are words like loved, worked, played, and so on. But remember, this rule applies to regular verbs. Irregular verbs can have unique past participle forms. The past perfect passive voice is used when we want to emphasize an action that was completed before another action in the past. It's typically formed using had been, followed by the past participle of the main verb. Let's take the verb finish. The past participle is finished. So an example of a sentence in past perfect passive would be, the project had been finished before the deadline. To help you familiarize yourself with this concept, let's look at some common regular verbs and their past participles. 1. Verb. Work to past participle. Worked. 2. Verb. Play to past participle. Played. 3. Verb. Learn to past participle. Learned or learnt in British English. 4. Verb. Listen to past participle. Listened. As you can see, we simply add ed to the base form of the verb. The best way to learn is by practicing. Try forming sentences in the past perfect passive voice with the following verbs. Clean. Love. Watch. And. Call. For example, for clean, you might say the room had been cleaned by the time guests arrived. Well, that's it for today's lesson on identifying past participles of regular verbs in the context of the past perfect passive voice. Remember, practice makes perfect. So be sure to try your hand at using these past participles in your daily conversation and writing. Keep learning and expanding your English knowledge. We'll see you in our next video.